Hello everyone. In the previous session, we learned about the Excel application scope. Excel application scope we are going to use for the, you know, to work on the Excel activities or the workbook of the Excel. Now, in this session, we are going to work with right cell and the read cell. Let me explain about them, how we are going to use in this session. If you see in my previous session of the Excel application scope, we have drag and drop the sequence as well as the application scope. And we have seen the different properties of the uh, Excel application scope. Let me go ahead. Let me explain you once again, what are the properties that what we have? If you see, if you, you want to select the application scope and then go to the properties, or else directly you can go ahead. You can see over here, there are the different, different properties of the Excel application scope. What we have, we have auto save, create if not exist, macro settings, read only, visible workbook, that is the output which we are going to store, use existing workbook if already the work, uh, workbook is existing. Now, what we are going to do, we have given the path over here in this Excel, if the path is not exist in the particular, if the Excel is not exist in the particular path, then we are going to give the option create if not exist. And whatever the data we are going to write in the Excel by using this robot that, you know, it is going to be saved automatically by using the option auto save. Now what we are going to do by using write cell and read cell, we are going to, by using these two activities that we are going to write the data into the Excel as well as we are going to read the data in the Excel using Excel application scope along with the activities, right? Now, first of all, we'll see the right cell. So right cell, let me drag and drop. Let me go to the path once again. If you see under app integration, we are having Excel. Let expand that again in that, that you will find read cell as well as right cell. Okay. First, we are going to work with the right cell. Let me drag and drop this right cell on my do activities. You can see over here. Let me drag and drop over here. Now we'll see what are the different properties that what we have for the right cell. Let me click on the properties by selecting this right cell. Now you can see the display common common property for each and every activity we are having display name. Here you can see right cell is the property. And after that, you can see the range. The range is nothing but for every Excel, we are having the range starting from A1 to infinity, right? Up to the particular things. And you can see, if I want to write into the particular range, A1 to B2 at that time, that it will be writing the range we are going to selecting from by using range. And the sheet name, that we can give the sheet name by using the sheet name. And the input value, if you want to give any input value, what you want to write it, you can give the input value. Now, if you see over here in this path, let me go ahead and let me check it out. What is the data that we have? have? Okay, uh, I will take this path. Let me copy this. Let me open this blank process. Okay, if you see, there's a test here, test Excel, which I have used it. Let me go ahead, let me delete it, but we don't have student, students.excel file. We don't have a, with the Excel SX with the extension, right? Now, what we are going to do in the A1, in the sheet one that I am going to in the particular cell, A1 is the cell in the Excel that I'm going to write some values. What that is the input value. If you see over here, first of all, what I will do, I will write hello world. Okay, uh, caps is on. Hello world. And then I'm going to save it. Now, if you see once again, the properties of the right cell, the input value for this right cell, what are the properties that we have? You can see the input value is the right cell. You can change over here or else you can change from here or else the input value is string or any value that you can give it over here. Now, what I'm going to do after writing it, I'm going to display a message, right? Like 
completed writing i am just showing completed writing excel okay so let me explain you once again i am going to write into the particular excel with the particular cell and the sheet name that i'm going to give like sheet one and the range i'm going to give it as a1 or else you can give the range from a1 to b2 also a1 that is you know if you want uh, a1 comma b1 then also you can give the range now first of all i will show you this one let me go ahead let me save the row bot now let me go ahead let me execute this bot Now, if you see the Excel has been opened over here and you can see hello world in the sheet one. This is the sheet one and you can see a one is the cell. You can see over here cell a one. And after what is the text that has been given? Hello world. And you can see the message box over here as completed. Hello, uh, completed writing Excel. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give the range over here. Let me change the range over here. On the same Excel that what I'm going to do from A1 to B2 up to B2 that I want to give the range and okay so in the range I have to write hello world itself the input value I'm not going to change anything now what I'm going to do I'm going to execute this now if you see completed writing Excel let me open this now you can see this is a1 a1 already hello world and b1 also hello world a2 till b2 the range we have given from a1 to b2 this is the way how it is going to be writing in the excel i hope you understand how to use the right cell activity now in the same session that i will show you how to read the particular cell right now let me open the excel once again let me go to the path if i open the students okay i'm having hello world over here now what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this excel and then i'm writing something different with the name name and class i will write it like this and the name is amir and the class is first class okay and i will give another name sita and class is second and then i'm going to save it now what I'm going to do, I'm going to read the cell, particular cell, if you want to read it out. Now if you see A3 in A3, that I'm having the name as Sita, and B3 that I'm having class as 2. Now how can I go ahead and read that? Now let me go, to, let me close this. Now what I'm going to do, in the read cell, what I'm going to, I'm going to delete this in this session what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this right cell i hope you understand how to use the right right cell activity right now let me delete this now what i'm going to do i'm going to read cell first of all i'm not using any kind of loop activities for loop or for each i'm not going to use it i'm just using read cell activity let me drag and drop read cell activity on to my screen and then you can see sheet one uh, let me go to the properties once again of the read cell properties now you can see the display name is the common property read cell and the input that it will comes as an input for you over here right the cell is a1 and the sheet name that i am going to give it as a sheet one but here in this particular read cell activity i don't have the range over here okay so don't worry about that we'll have the separate activity uh, for the range also now the output whichever the value you're going to read it that you want to store in the result right we can store the result in the variable and we can display the value in the message box okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, you know what are the values that one let me take right now as a b2 or a3 a3 is the cell which I'm going to use and then sheet one that I'm from the sheet one I'm going to read the cell of A3 and then that value I'm going to store it in result that is for, to set in the variable that what I'm going to show uh, control K I am going to use 
to create a variable okay now what is the value that i will give it as excel read output okay op output and then i'm going to click on enter okay now let me go to the variables over here if you see the name over here the variable name as excel read op the string and the scope is do scope right now i'm going to display the same value completed in the message box as reading completed from excel okay and the value i'm going to concatenate over here last time we have seen the concatenation and then i'm going to give excel read op value okay now i'm going to save it now let me go ahead let me run this now if you see reading completed from excel and the name you can see as sita okay because of i have not given any spaces over here that's the reason it is not coming giving any space and let me add some more thing as name sita right let me run once again now you can see reading completed from excel name sita okay click on okay so this is how we are going to use write cell activity and the read cell activity by using these two activities along with excel scope activity i hope you understand how to use them the both write cell and read cell activity thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day